Why is it still cold? <laughs> I I just woke up in a horrible mood today because I woke up and it was still cold. Okay. Yeah. It's, it's going to be... It's going to be a, a... I'm going to be mean on the show today. Oh, great. Line us up. Here this we go. This sounds fun. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Not a happy man. <laughs> Not a happy guy with this uh, weather we got here. Hmm. So if you're not happy, does that make you dopey? Well, yeah, you could be an indifferent emotion is what he's trying to say. Yeah. I was going for a seven dwarf. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, joke there. I'd rather be sleepy. Yeah, oh, just be okay. Sleeping the whole time. Welcome in, everybody. See, that's very sleepy. <laughs> I think I'm angry. Wasn't that one of them? Yeah, Wasn't grouchy, them? Grumpy. grouchy, grumpy, oh, grumpy, grumpy. grumpy yeah. yeah, okay, that's me today, man. Oh, not feeling it. Cold weather does not do you well. It does not, mm. especially this long of a string of cold weather. It doesn't even make sense. I've never been through something like this in Florida before. <laughs> it's been my whole damn life. <laughs> Ever. Ever. Never. <laughs> Literally never. Never been we, this, this cold. This is the longest stretch of continuous cold weather <laughs> in the history of me keeping track of the cold weather. It was since yesterday. <laughs> Don't you love how that works? Well, that's what all the weather stations say. <laughs> since we started keeping record. Well, what was that, 100 years ago? Yeah. yeah. All right, so calm down, folks. It's <laughs> only we've got 100 years of record keeping. Yeah. <laughs> This is so. This is the coldest it's ever been continuously. See, it's continuously since I started keeping record. The good news is global warming's over. Oh please, here we go. <laughs> here Let's we go. Started on that. <laughs> yeah. Let's line that up too. Oh god, we got. What do we got to talk oh, about? Sound today? off. Troy! Wow, boomer. I even said sound <laughs> off. I turned it off. I just clicked on comments. That's what happens. That. Yeah, oh. it's a new thing on Facebook. I did it on what Mike Davis show too. Happened? You click yeah. the thing, and, and it all of a sudden the sound. sound up. Yeah. You you saw me turn my sound off. Totally. Yeah. What the hell? It's yeah. Now I'm in a bad mood. Oh man. So turn the people around. <laughs> Gosh! <laughs> Groundbreaking ceremony! Now I'm happier because everybody else is mad too! <laughs> Great! <laughs> Great. All right, what do we have to talk about today? Stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Two men accused of competing in the Florida Man games. Really? Yeah, they were stealing catalytic converters. <laughs> were they really competing? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. Well, I don't know. Maybe they caused that. <laughs> maybe they were trying to earn a spot on a team. Yeah, maybe. So we'll talk about that. Mm. St. John's County School District responds to a fake letter. Yeah, I heard Even about this. the news this. bit on this letter. Mm -hmm. I saw the news bite on this letter yesterday. Okay. And then I saw the news retract their bite. Yeah, was the letter all the way wrong? I don't know. I, I I didn't read the letter. Okay. But we'll get into it here in a little while. Uh, we've also got, apparently it stemmed from some funding. Some people were concerned. Mm -hmm. Some staff Budgeting. was very concerned. Yeah. Uh, we've got some people saying, not in my backyard to affordable housing. Nimbies. Yep. Uh-uh. And this is what happens, St. John's County. When we cater to snobs. Uh, <laughs> and uh, the St. John's County Family Integrity Program. All right. Flagler Sweeping College. the nation. That's right. Uh, partnering with Flagler College. Doing good moves. For the second year to create personalized bags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be yelling a lot during this show. Oh, good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, everybody. Watch your blood pressure, please. Wait, I really do need to watch my blood pressure. I know. People are really getting to see my bipolarness come out today. It's Wonderful. Just, it's second by second on this show today. <laughs> my mom says pie bowler because you don't know which slice of pie you're going to get. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's great. Thanks, Mom. That's not that's funny. funny. <laughs> just kidding. That's hilarious. <laughs> Wow, Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Uh, I think I'm just having a mental breakdown, that's all. Speaking of mental breakdowns, the Florida Man Games! Hey, where Ooh. we celebrate them! That's right, presented by Flow Grown. I gotta tell you, we went out to big shout out to um, Chris Shee. Thank you for letting us use Tringali Barn yesterday. We filmed a segment for Fox 35 in Orlando yesterday oh. for the Florida Man Games. Brought a couple of Florida Man Games teams out there to compete against each other and, and demonstrate some of the games for these TV cameras. Cool. And 
the TV guys had a blast. The teams had a blast. Everybody watching was just in tears laughing. Um, so it was it was a heck of an experience. And I got to tell you, the you know, obviously, this is the first year doing it, so a lot of this stuff is just conceptual. It's like, well, I think this is going to work. Let's make it a game. Mm. So I got to test a lot of it yesterday. A lot of it, it all went very, very well. Good. It was. It all worked as planned. Nice flow. Nice flow. Hilarious. And it's going to be a great day out there, guys. Can't wait to see everybody out there. Go to thefloridamangames.com. Uh, if you, you know, we've been telling you for nine five months. months. Nine months? Yeah. Has it been nine months? We've mm-hmm. been telling you for nine months. Get your tickets before February. Sale ends on uh, February. Mm-hmm. So ticket prices go up today. God Ticket prices bless. Go up today. You should have got your ticket yesterday if you didn't already. But uh, it's okay because out of the thousands and thousands of people we have out here, maybe 500 are from St. John's County. All right. Yeah. Well, geez. well, St. John's County. St. John's County needs to be well represented out there. I hope let's we're bringing. It. Are we yeah. bringing our best people? Let's, let's go. Let's bring our best. Let's go. Our best need to get out there before uh, before it's too late. Yeah. So go to thefloridamangames.com. Snag yourself some tickets. Hey, even with the ticket prices going up. Still, the uh, most affordable event in St. John's County that's actually worth going to. How about that? I saw Sheriff's Office put out 911 fight night info last night. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be exciting. Yep. Just remembered I forgot to do a logo thing for them yesterday. Thanks for reminding me. There (laughs) we go. Shoot. All right. (laughs) Well, something to be mad about again. Again. All right. Uh, TheFloridaManGames.com. It's going to be a great time out there. Shout out to our local sponsors out there as well. Mm. Um, Ripley's, Atlantic Marine, Power Sports STA, Prohibition Kitchen doing our VIP food. Very excited about that. Canadian yeah. Law. Going to be out there protecting our asses. Cool. Yep. That's our gonna assets. Be, that's going to be needed. <laughs> our assets and our asses. Both. Yeah. Both. Yep. And uh, Bozart Ford Lincoln. And, of course, Mastercraft Builders. And thanks again to Chris Chee for letting us use the property yesterday. It was great. Perfect backdrop for the Florida Man Games, by the way. Barn in the background. You got a lake on the other side. Beautiful. Got some fences that we were able to jump while wearing handcuffs. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Interesting. It's great. TheFloridaManGames.com. This is going to be a worldwide phenomenon after a few years. It really is. It already is. Actually. It already is. I'm like, a few years. Yeah. We're it, here. It yeah. actually already is. We've got people coming from across the world. Yes. For this thing. Mm-hmm. We'll All be right. up in Jacksonville Stadium, you know, filling, right? the, filling the stadium. Probably. You know? Yeah. 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 I think so. <laughs> we'll be able to fill it, but the Jags won't. <laughs> yeah. I know. We're going to have to have a competition with the Jaguars every They'll year. Have to to uncover, can... uncover the seats. Right. The right. Florida Georgia game. But the real question is will you move it to London eventually? No. All right. Never. <laughs> Blake actually spoke up. I know. I know. Wow. Blake from the back there. <laughs> um, Did you not hear he doesn't like the cold? Apparently not. Right. Yeah. Not not moving anywhere colder than here. I thought we were in the warmest place on earth, but uh, <laughs> the test determined that was a lie. <laughs> All right. Yep, Jim, a local sponsor as well. They'll give you a membership. All right. Um, uh, uh, before we introduce you to Troy and Davey, as we do every morning. <laughs> <laughs> this is like I have Alzheimer's. Um, I'll tell you about Bozart Ford Lincoln. They're celebrating 75 years in St. Augustine in Northeast Florida. Bozart Ford Lincoln is here for you. You can experience their extensive selection of new and pre-owned vehicles, quick and quality servicing, and their parts and accessories shop that is just absolutely mind-blowing. Grab a signature burger while you're out there as well at Ford's Garage. Uh, they offer services from home delivery to company fleet servicing. At Bozart Ford Lincoln, your family is their family. And they are driven to inspire. Also, shouts to our friends at Fidus Roofing, Great Expectations Realty and Auction, Chiba Hut Toasted Sub, St. August Pizza, BHF Insurance, Griffin Service, Amara Med Spa, Chris Lucero Bail Bonds, and Willow and Maine, who we'll talk about shortly. But first, the reintroduction of Troy, Davey, and Blake. How are you guys doing this morning? Hey, happy Thursday. <laughs> oh, weekend e, bro. Yep, I'm yep, very yep. excited. All right. There we, we go. Wait. I'm ready. Blake, how's it going in the booth? I'm doing. I'm doing well. Uh, Pete, do you need me to to keep my hand o- 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 uh, um, over the cuss button today? I I, I gonna be that angry today. You never know the buzz. You won't be able to catch it in time, yeah, Blake. Don't even worry about it. Fly out. No. Mm. Yes, it will. Uh, 
a question of the day, Troy. On this cold day. Yeah. <laughs> which is worse, a flat tire or a dead battery? Oh, my God. You're going to make me even more mad. Um, flat tire. <laughs> I guess flat tire, dead battery. I'm about to leave. <laughs> No, please don't leave. That just really freaked out my brain, Troy. <laughs> Slow and steady. God, I really am on the verge of a mental breakdown. Oh, I'm not gosh. even kidding you. On air. I would not push you over. <laughs> yes, you would. <laughs> you would do it for fun. If you knew I was that close, uh, Troy yeah. would be standing there with a battering ram. Boom, boom, boom. boom. Yeah. Flat tire um, <sighs> Let's see. It depends on the situation. So if you're late for work and you start your car and you got a dead battery... You're in trouble. Mm. It's gonna it's gonna ruin my whole day. Uh, I would drive to work on a flat tire. I'd stop and I'd get some fix a flat and I'd get to work. Um, but if you're driving on the highway like I was a couple of months ago and you got a flat tire on the highway, then you're you're just stranded out in wherever you get a flat tire. Right. Oh, uh, this is tough. I'm gonna say battery because not only will it leave you stranded at the worst possible times, which it always does. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they're just hard to get to your car if you like. W- the last time I had a, a dead battery, I had to skateboard down to AutoZone, mm-hmm. pick up the battery, and skateboard back. That's with cool. Bro. That's really that's cool. It was not cool. It's no, no, the batteries not fun. are heavy as hell. It's they're very heavy. Really? I thought I was going to break my skateboard. You just put it on your shoulder. Uh, what uh, <laughs> skateboard? Yeah, you can yeah. disperse the weight a lot better there, genius. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well. When's the last time you skateboarded with the battery on your shoulder? Uh, sitting down, I'm wonderful. I'm a good sitter a downer good sk- on a skateboard, a and skater. I hold it, yeah, cradle it like How a baby. How the hell do you sit then you've, on a skateboard? You've, 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 legs, you've legs legs done that with a battery, I promise you that. <laughs> I have a wide board. <laughs> Very wide. So battery for you. Battery yeah, for me. All right. I'm going to say flat tire for me. Just because that's just a hot mess. I mean, it's just, yeah. 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 You'd leave yeah. you stranded. And like you said, on the highway, that'd be ugh. Yeah. What do you think, Blake? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say dead battery as well, but yeah. but, but we'll say as, as an extra one, a uh, bad alternator as well. Yeah, because yeah. that can make you think it's a bad battery, and then you get a new battery, and then two days later, it's dead again, and you're mm-hmm. like, oh crap, alternator. Mm-hmm. That happened to my truck as well. Yeah, that happened to my car as well recently. And you go to AutoZone and you get it tested, and they're supposed to be able to test it and fix it for you and tell you what's wrong, and they couldn't. They said it was a battery, so I bought a new battery. It wasn't the battery; it was the alternator. Two days later, the battery was dead again, and I, they should have tested it right the first time. Could you return the battery? Did you save your receipt? Battery was already questionable, so uh, you just kept the same battery. Yeah, Usually sure. that's what uh, you do. Okay. Yep. You, yeah, so you're extra 250 right. out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. So Batteries, yeah. very expensive. I remember, I remember when you could buy a battery for $75. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I remember it much cheaper than that. <laughs> I, don't, I don't even have to go with Prospect or Voice. I'm there. Yeah. <laughs> um, for, me, for me, it's a, a, a flat tire. I yeah. just, I mean... It's just such a, you got to crank up everything. You got to get everything done and you got to hopefully have a spare that has air in it and all that. I mean, there's just so much yeah. with a flat tire. Usually a, a dead battery, you unscrew a couple things, you yank it out and, you know, hopefully you have somebody give you a ride. Yeah. yeah. See, for yeah. me, it's always fix a flat for the tire and yeah. the God, and you put fix a flat in it and then you get to the tire place and they just hate you because yeah. it's just, they have to, they take that tire off and it's all that goop that flies out of there. Well, you know, um, what are you going to yeah. do? Yeah. Why is the, is I've, I've never used fix a flat ever. Really? Me neither, no. no. I've changed, it can be very I've damaging tires. to your wheels. Yeah. yeah. Okay. No, no, but, uh, no it's, it's definitely a flat tire for me. Mm. I, mean, I, I think it might be my age now, too, because... You know, getting the damn tire off. Such oh, I know. I know. When I was younger, boy, we just a flat tire. Okay, you'll jump up under there, oh, you'll yeah. crank it up, you'll get it off. We, I could change a tire. Pretend like you're in NASCAR. And right. Time me. I could yeah. knock that out in probably less than five minutes back in the day, man. Just well, simple process. We might but. need that as a tiebreaker for Florida Man game. Change a tire. Uh, okay. Nah, I'll pass. <laughs> I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do a tug of war into over. Oh, uh, how fun. Yeah, to just find out who's the strongest team. I love tug of war. That was one of my favorite gym games. We'll have to do it over a pile of gross stuff. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Like slime or something. Yeah. Or like murky water with like yeah. algae or something. The qualifier though will be uh eating the butt. Hey, hey! Sexy, sexy. When the butt no. is round. Oh, no. pork butt. 
Oh, pulled pork. Gotcha. What is Davy thinking? Pulled pork. It's that song. I love it. Gosh. <laughs> Gosh, Davy, you took it there. Right. Well, you know, I mean, you said the word butt. Where yeah. do you think your head goes? But this is That's pork exactly butt. That's where your head goes. So people go. are yeah. going to sit down and they're going to eat pulled pork eat until butt. they bust. You're going to eat butt. Okay. Will Will uh, Sir Mixalot uh, be uh, be playing in the background during the the butt eating contest? Is he from Florida? Maybe he is. I don't maybe. know. Maybe Florida. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Possibly Blake. Cool. Possibly. It's not a bad idea. Okay. We now go back to Troy Blevins for. I don't even want another Checo weather today. It's Troy. cold. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Captain Obvious. <laughs> <laughs> Quick check of the weather. Brought to you by Great Expectations Realty and Auction. They can sell your home, your business, and everything in it. Check them out at geauction.com, gerealty.us. We flip it over to Blake Blevins for our traffic report. Damn Jacksonville drivers. No. Uh, see? The anger is rubbing off on me. I really feel now like I'm a horrible influence on everybody. I'm fine. I'm still daisies over here. Uh, uh, Ain't nobody going to steal my lip shimmer. <laughs> Lip shimmer. Lip yeah, shimmer. right. Ooh, That's okay. what you say in the street. Oh, no one okay. steal my glory, my shine, my, my pride. Like, what street you walk? <laughs> <laughs> the sunny side, honey. The sunny I'm side. On the, I'm on the wrong side of the street. <laughs> All right. Uh, Jacksonville drivers. Thank you, Blake. Kia Souls are the worst, though. Are they really? I thought it was Honda Pilot. Sorry, Heather. Yeah. Tomorrow Med Spa. Hey, there yeah. they are. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if your skin has lost its luster, refresh and renew tomorrow Med Spa. Uh, their expert therapist will deliver groundbreaking treatments and facials tailored to your specific needs. You have high standards, and so do they. Embrace relaxation and unveil your radiance. Begin your transformation at theamarmedspa.com. Check out their personality transplants. They'll give you a new personality in minutes. That's they not true. <laughs> they do. They have them in there. Don't lie. They'll to make people. you. They'll make you happy. <laughs> yeah, so I, I, maybe I need to go by there and see if they can do that. Tracy will help yeah. you. Okay, wonderful. Two men who are not happy. Uh oh. Because they are in jail right now. What a jerk, Chris Lucero. No, 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 no. I'm not going to recommend Chris Lucero to these jerks. Oh. What they Chris do? Lucero will get him out, but they should stay in jail. Mm -mm. They deserve to be in jail. Two men accused of stealing catalytic converters across the state. Oh. Yeah, from Miami all the way up here. Wow. Busted in St. John's County. You don't come to St. John's County don't and do come these here. things, man. I mean, Sheriff Hardwick has set the standard. That you just, you don't do, there's so many people who commit crimes across the country in St. John's County as their last stop. Stupid. We talk about it almost on a weekly basis, it feels like at this point. So here we go. The St. John's County Sheriff's Office has apprehended two individuals allegedly involved. Allegedly, they were caught with a literal truck bed full of catalytic converters. Hmm. Involved in a story. They were holding them for a friend. Well, they were, <laughs> Making necklaces. They were, they were practicing for the games, possibly. Hmm. Catalytic converter thefts from businesses resulting in a litany. I like that word. Resulting in a litany of charges, totaling 67 felonies and two misdemeanors. Whoa, that's a lot, you guys. <laughs> yeah, you should have seen the pictures of the of this truck bed filled with catalytic converters. Jeez. The incident unfolded on Sunday when deputies responded to a burglary in progress at Carpet One. You know, prime, prime <laughs> target for catalytic converters, the <laughs> carpet store. <laughs> On US-1, upon arrival, several suspects attempted to flee in a vehicle, but law enforcement managed to block their escape with a patrol car. Subsequently, two, uh, the suspects identified as 25-year-old Raymond Vega wow. and 20-year-old Aaron Dean. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Raymond Vega was a lot more fun to say. Yeah, very then, exotic, and then, then you got, got Aaron Dean. <laughs> <laughs> Great criminal name. <laughs> yeah. Right. Awful criminal name. <laughs> Honestly, it's a financial planner name. I mean, it's just it's just not a... It's a businessman name. Yeah, it's an accountant firm. Can I speak to Aaron Dean, please? <laughs> they had to change their name to, like, the Wet Bandits from, like, Home Alone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, those are catalytic converters. Those are catalytic converters, sir. What do you guys do with... What do they, what do, they do with well, that? Well, they're stuffed with a lot of precious metals or something, right? Oh, I didn't know that. No, Troy? I don't know. I don't either. I'm, you know, I don't know. I, I figured you would stolen a catalytic converter, so I really... I know I need do not, to... Do not know where to sell one. Me neither. Yeah. Mm. Uh, you know, well... 
but I know you will have to get them uh, as part of the Florida Man Games. The burglary at Carpet One slash Ancient City Group resulted in the removal of catalytic converters from eight fleet vehicles. Wow. Mm. Authorities discovered the stolen catalytic converters and burglary tools. I love that new term, burglary tools. Inside the suspect's vehicle. Vega and Dean face an array of charges, including burglary, grand theft, criminal mischief, possession of burglary tools. Wow. Possession of stolen catalytic converters. That's an actual charge. Oh, look at those kids. Just kids. Look at that. They're babies. Yeah, they are. Jeez. They're idiots. Idiot babies, yeah. yeah. Well, I was going to go much harsher. Thank you, Davey, for not getting us thrown off in the algorithm for Your the third day. Your parents must be so proud. Yeah. I'm sure they're not. So you're right. The catalytic converters contain precious Scrap. metals like palladium, platinum, and rhodium. So oh, yeah, those yeah. are worth. There's probably uh, from as low as $10 each to over 1000 bucks sometimes. Yeah. So yeah, catalytic converters are very expensive. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Huh. Rappers are going to start wearing them around their necks. That's what I'm saying. Like, can we make a necklace? <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, burglary tools, possession of stolen catalytic converters, and resisting an officer without violence. The amount uh, totaled in 67 felonies. It's reported that both individuals traveled from Miami to St. John's County to specifically commit these crimes. Jeez. You need to do a little bit more research before doing that here. Yeah. The investigation into the incident remains ongoing as authorities continue to gather information. So what happens here? Do they get tried in every county because they are across the state? Like, what happens with That's them? a good question. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah, it just depends on where the proof's at. Oh, uh, okay. You know? Yeah. I mean, here in St. John's County, obviously, we caught them red-handed with it. So, yeah. You know, and they yeah. probably have some video evidence throughout the state. It's not like, I, you know, I'm pretty sure St. John's County was working with other other counties on this one for them to just go. Let's go over there. Yeah. You know? yeah. So they, there's, there's definitely some information that's been shared throughout the county. But curious on where oh, they're going to do their time and all that stuff. Like, do yeah. they do it in different counties? Do they separate mm -hmm. it? Interesting. Yeah, that's a good, that is a good question. Yeah. I'm not exactly sure how that would work. But you have to imagine that if these other businesses did have video of these two guys, but maybe just didn't know who they were, mm -hmm. you know, now they know who these guys are. Yeah, they'll start piecing everything right. back together. It, it just kind of works backwards now, the investigation. So Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, there you go. There you go. Catalytic converter thefts. I, you know, they they knocked out two of the Florida Man games, catalytic converter stealing and evading arrest. They just did not evade the arrest. They just failed at it miserably. They failed. So, <laughs> one car stopped them. Yeah. <laughs> so, sorry guys, not qualified to uh, play yeah. in the Florida Man games. You're not good enough at being a Florida Man. You didn't make the cut. Didn't make the cut. Sorry. They can be on JV team. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they did have, they were caught with a couple saws as well. They had a couple saws. Oh, yeah. yeah. Burglary tools. Burglary tools. Thank you, Troy. Um, hey, there was a fake letter going around from St. John's County School. Well, not from St. John's County School District, I guess, but that's what they thought it was. It was last night, a fabricated letter uh, that purported to come from the superintendent of St. John's County School District, circulated on Facebook groups frequented by parents. You sure why you don't... That you, you, how do people take some of these Facebook groups seriously? Mm. It's just... It's so goofy. Yeah, some of them do, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, the Facebook groups... Yeah, I'm not going to go too deep into it right now, but boy, some of them are goofy. Some of them are, yep. Yep. Uh, let's see. Um, a, it, it was alleging budget cuts and staffing shortages. Superintendent Tim Force and one of the news stations picked this up. I saw this mm. pop up on my feed mm. yesterday from a news station. Superintendent Tim Forsen expressed deep concern over the unauthorized use of his name and a board member's name in the fake communication, emphasizing that uh, neither he nor the district leaders were aware of its existence until contacted by one of the news stations in Jacksonville. One mother within the school district uh, encountered the letter across multiple Facebook groups. <laughs> that was this year's source. And initially believed its authenticity. Because if you see it in more than one place, it must be real. Oh, yeah, true. She stressed the importance of transparency from the district regarding any factual basis in the letter's claims. I mean, is the district supposed to just sit there and, like, try and find fake letters all day long? They got other things to do. Absolutely. 
the letter, the, the letter purported that the district would reduce school nurses to one per school next year. Who even puts a fake letter out like this? Um, due to budget constraints and the need for new schools. While Superintendent Forsen confirmed that the district would indeed revert to one new... Okay, so it's factual information. That's what I asked you. Fake letter, real news! Yeah, is it real or is it factual? I, I don't know. Now I'm questioning the school district. Uh-oh. Another... Uh, this, uh, here we go with the bipolarness again. Blenders. Yep, yep. So, the letter said that the district would reduce school nurses to one per school year. And Tim Forsen said, yep, that's that's actually true. <laughs> he clarified that this decision stemmed from the impending loss of COVID-era funding for right. support staff, not budget cuts. Well, I mean, that's kind of budget cuts. Mm. But what was the point of the fake letter? Was there fundraising behind it? Like, were they trying to get people to get money? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. Contradictory, contrary, they say, to the letter's assertion, non-medical staff will not be trained to replace nurses, so it's even worse than the letter said. Hmm. Forsen reiterated that the district's commitment to maintaining licensed, licensed nursing staff would remain there, um, addressing the need for additional schools. The district affirmed ongoing efforts to construct new K-3A facilities to alleviate overcrowding with plans for five new schools by 2026, two of which are slated to open this fall. Parents emphasized the urgency of prioritizing education and infrastructure amidst population growth, stressing the necessity for expanding school capacity. Uh, the district pledged to investigate the source of the fake letter and combat further dissemination of false information. Mm. Sounds like the letter kind of got it right. Sounds to be like it. With you. I, Sounds I'm like the letter got it right. Kind of shocked, actually, sitting over yeah. here. Uh, he expressed frustration over the unauthorized letter. You know, the problem is, uh, you know, folks in government, sometimes uh, they they get a little mad when information gets out there and they didn't control the flow of the information getting out there. I'm not saying that's necessarily what happened in this case. It but sounds like it, though. Happens. I'd be a little happens. miffed if I was Mr. Forsen, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, but you don't want anyone using your name. Right, true, without right. you. No. That's, I, mean, yeah. that's, I think that's more about what it is instead of... You know, because he, he could have denied. Oh no, that's not what that's. But right. I mean, it, it's you well, know, you, Forsen, just you just don't yeah. want somebody using your name. Sure, but so. if he or somebody at the school district did say, uh, "We're going to cut down school nurses to one because of COVID era funding," mm -hmm. and somebody kind of took the ball uh, and ran with it, that, and, yeah, and, yeah, no, yeah, just, and just, just mistranslate a little as, bit. Just release the information as yourself. Don't. There put somebody you, else's well, name on it. Yeah, that's, that's, I think that's that was the, weird, right? I think that's yeah. the biggest biggest thing. If if I was sitting where where uh, Mr. Forson's at, I mean, that would bother me the most. Is like, okay, I understand you want to get the information out, but don't use my name. Yeah, don't use my yeah. government name yeah. Yeah. unless he said it. Unless yeah. he unless yeah, but don't get well, then say. By Tim Forsen. Yeah. 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 And yeah. I don't know if the letter necessarily like had Tim Forsen as the letterhead above there, like, hi, yeah. I'm Tim Forsen, and I'm I don't know what the letter looked yeah. like, but it says but, yeah. Dear Parents and Concerned Citizens, comma. It doesn't say it at the top, it says his name at the bottom, like he wrote it. Oh, like yeah. he wrote it. So yeah. it's like, yeah, it's yeah, like yeah, his yeah. signature on it, right? Who it, would, yeah. Who would fake a letter? Like yeah. who would, it doesn't I don't understand the, the purpose of it. Like yeah. what was this well, to I'm do? Confused. Yeah. I don't get it either. But, uh, weird. yeah, so. <laughs> and then the weird turn is it's true. It's real. <laughs> okay. yeah. yeah, portions of it. I've never Fake seen. letter. But real. 90% real news. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Yep. Uh, Gas Buddy Gas Report time. Okay. Well, I heard it's good. Ish. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you're seeing good prices for gas, let us know down there in the comments. We would appreciate it. And so would people watching. It's going up. 319 is our lowest price this morning. And that's at the <laughs> Shell at 2350 North Ponce. Allegedly. Mm -hmm. The Circle K at 4564 US 1 North reporting at 322 this morning. Shell at 146 King reporting at 325 today. Wow. Uh, the Gate is at 327, it looks like. The Owens on South Ponds, 327 as well. Sunoco at 450 South Ponds, 327. We've got the A1A Discount Beverage, Ashwin on the Island, 329 this morning. Island gas. Yeah, that's a little Tim. bit. Tim, right on time, Costco 305. There you go. I can't believe right Costco. Yeah. Right on time. Perfect timing. Should have got Perfect. the gas yesterday. Thanks, Tim. Yeah. But that's up from 289 yesterday. Correct. That's reporting. a big jump. Yeah, that's a big, big jump. 
All right, if you get mad that somebody was using your name in a letter and they weren't supposed to, and you haul off and punch them in the face, you're going to jail. Oh, man. But Chris Lucero will get you out of jail. Thank goodness. Easy as that. He's available 24-7 for you to provide fast and reliable bail services, ensuring that you or your loved one can get out of jail and back to real life as soon as possible. Chris Lucero Bail Bonds. He'll get you out of jail. Simple as that. 904-822-BAIL. 904-822-2245. All right, we got some live music happening today and tonight, starting with Alexis Paramus. Oh, wow, starting. I know, very rare that we start off with Alexis. He's at Pierre's Pub at 1 o'clock. Ian Kelly at the cellar upstairs at 1. Our second favorite serial killer, Lee Michael Howard. Oh. Pizzalis at 3 o'clock. Burn Unit. Mm. Well, <laughs> heard they're hot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, Davey, I didn't say burned unit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burn units. <laughs> They're at Fusion 904 Eatery. What's that place? It's got oh. 904 in the name. Wow. I'm already not Fusion? mad at it. Fusion 904 Eatery. Fusion with a Z. Ooh. Fusion. Whoa, excuse me. Peach is <clears throat> out. It's in Crescent Beach, apparently. Oh. oh. Thank you, Blake. Interesting. Five o'clock. David Watt Besley at Oasis at five. Trevor Compton at St. Augustine Shores Golf Club at five o'clock. Vinny Jacobs at Hurricane Grill and Wings at five. Fond Kaiser. Santiago's Florida Kitchen. Had to do two accents oh, there. Very nice. Six o'clock. New guys on the dock at the Oasis at six. Caleb Joy at Salt Life at six. Josh Tennessee Worthy at the Colonial Oak at seven. Matisse Yahoo. Oh, yeah. Big one. Ponte Vedra Mat- Concert Mat- Hall. Yahoo. Yeah. Okay. I know a lot of people going to that show. Yeah? Yeah. Not me. It's like Jew- not me. it's a Jewish like rap group. Yeah. Not really rap, but it's he's yeah. like real he's the, the Hasidic, right? He's yeah, got the yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's how I know. Doesn't sound uh, They've been around a long time. Uh, really? A long yeah. time. Yeah, they've yeah. been around a long time. Yeah. Never, I, I guess I've heard I've I've said this name before. They've been here before, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, they were actually at the amp before, I think. I, I oh. had a, uh career slipping down? Yeah. yeah. I had them at a festival in two thousand and eight. Really? Yeah. Okay. They're at the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall at 7. Vegas Gray appears pub at 7. Cassie and Maggie. Cafe 11 at 8 o'clock. <laughs> Cassie sounds, and Maggie. It just sounds like dog names. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's like going to be, it's gonna be it's a dog like, show. It's not like two labs. <laughs> it does. Cassie! Come here, Cassie! Come here, Maggie! Maggie, sit down. Get in the house, Cassie! <laughs> uh, this is Cafe 11 at 8 o'clock. <laughs> And the real Cholula at no name at 10. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, live music mic check, of course, comes to you from Griffin Services because your home is their top priority. Your home's comfort is their top priority at Griffin Service. And boy, if your home's not comfortable right now, get Griffin Service out there. They specialize in AC plumbing and electrical services. They also do clogged drains. If your drain is slow or clogged or smells like hell, <laughs> they'll cl- uh, clear it up for only $123 or it's free. Yeah, they can help with any drain emergency. Same day, seven days a week. Video diagnosis available for in many situations as well. Oh, very nice. Did you necessarily want to see that video? It'll ruin your lunch plans for the day. Possibly, yes. But they, they'll they look at it and figure out what's going on. Mm-hmm. Griffin Service, 904-500-2653, or you can visit griffinservice.com on the web. And the soundboard decided not to not to pull up the sound effect today, so... <laughs> Blake sounded like Simba trying to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Not big Simba. Little Simba. Little Simba. Little Simba. Little Simba. <laughs> All right, we'll work on that for next time. Still Blake. effective, Blake. Yeah. Right, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> At least I tried. Absolutely. I appreciate the effort. I'm sorry, Tom. <laughs> we do, sir. All right. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Tom. <laughs> You'll see him on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Also, our friends at Finest Roofing. There's the button. Uh, they support a lot of local charities that support local kids in addition to supporting your home and your roof. Um, and they're always looking to grow their team and would encourage anybody to come and apply with them. They got all the type of roofing materials you need. You want those fancy shingles? They got them. You just need the basic stuff? They got it. But it's all the best quality out there. Don't go off script for fight us again, Pete. <laughs> 904-355-ROOF. They do pavers. They, they also do gutters. Oh. Oh, thanks. Right. Nice. They do. Good. I didn't, didn't know if you knew. Good. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Okay. Softer side of gutters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, can't get your mind out of the gutter, though. Yeah. Oh, never. Uh, no, uh, no. Wouldn't have them any other way. Here's on. <laughs> Boy, some people are just going to be all over this. I love when folks get this creative. For our Terrible Thursday story, we've got a New Jersey animal shelter that will name a feral cat after your ex and then neuter it. <laughs> that sounds creative. Yeah, but <laughs> it's creative. It's very right? creative. That's really creative. Wow. In New Jersey, the Homeward Bound Pet Adoption. I think Homeward Bound's got a case against them. Uh -oh. uh, the pet adoptions. I just teared up. <laughs> just mentioning the name, yeah. Homeward Bound. Has unveiled an unconventional Valentine's Day promotion targeting those seeking revenge on their ex partners. The center's innovative, uh, the center, I'm sorry, initiative involves feral cats and a unique opportunity to name a cat after your ex in exchange for a $50 donation. With the added benefit of having the feline spayed or neutered before it's released back into the wild. Wow, that's uh -huh. a very clever way to do that. Especially yeah. with Valentine's Day coming up. Yeah. yeah. I was yeah. going to say that's a little nuts, but I mean... I well, like they release them back in the wild neutered. Still, it's actually it. helping I'm the environment. you got it, Pete. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm with you. Davey will catch up eventually. Eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> there you go. There it is. <laughs> that's nuts. <laughs> To participate, donors can <laughs> submit first names or nicknames of their exes. <laughs> oh, I bet we got a lot of nicknames. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of nicknames. Some of them starting with D, some of them starting with C. Oh, Courtney. Yeah, let's go with that. <laughs> and Daryl. Yeah. Uh, the campaign advertised on Instagram uh, features a flyer with the tagline, Because some things shouldn't breed. Well, yeah, true, mm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, this initiative aligns with the center's ongoing commitment to managing the feral cat population mm -hmm. through responsible measures and emphasizes the importance of spaying and neutering in curbing overpopulation. All right. There you go. Nice. <laughs> Cleaning up the streets. Moving on. Name it after your ex. I'm sure you can do that from here, too. If you want to call up there and make a $50 donation in Florida and name a cat after your ex in New Jersey. No, I don't want to do help New Jersey. I want to help us. <laughs> uh, good call. Yeah, yeah, they got enough. They're good. Yeah, let somebody do this there. here. Yeah, please. the situation. They can name them all. That's yeah. Jersey Shore. The situation. Right. <laughs> I wonder if there will be a lot of people naming them after Jersey Shore personalities. Holly D. <laughs> Snooky. Yeah. <laughs> Jay Wow. Yeah. Boy, everybody you just mentioned shouldn't breed. Yeah, definitely don't, don't not. No. To. And I think they'll agree. They did a little bit. There's a trickling <laughs> in there, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was going to say, didn't Snooky have a kid? Yeah. I think Same so. situation, too. He cleaned up his act. Yeah. Polly Boy, he bombed on that. Remember that roast of. Uh, yeah, bombed. Remember that roast mm -hmm. on Comedy Central? Yeah. 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 Boy, that was awful. And yeah. he just thought he was great. And he was awful. Yeah. I mean, he got. He got laughs that were just like, oh, you poor thing. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was like, yeah, yeah, this the, is embarrassing. The laugh right, track from the producers in the background just hitting a button. Yeah. yeah. And then the comedians were just like, are you done? Puzzled. Yeah. Like, what are you doing up here, guys? Guess who's not getting invited back? Yeah. Right. Never. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, affordable St. John's County Apartment Complex proposal draws concerns from nearby neighbors. A proposed affordable housing complex could significantly impact northern St. John's County with plans to pre prevent the... Present the... Pete Melfi, take two. You're doing great. <laughs> My ears are ringing. <laughs> You're doing great. Now he can't hear. A proposed affordable housing complex could significantly impact northern St. John's County with mm. plans to present the proposal to the Planning and Zoning Board. The proposed site plans 19 acres, spans 19 acres of farmland nestled in between the Wards Creek and the Silverleaf neighborhoods. Uh, oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. Local residents express concerns about the potential development, citing worries about increased traffic and its proximity to existing neighborhoods. <laughs> <laughs> existing fancy neighborhoods. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the proposed complex dubbed the Preserves at Wards Creek aims to address the demand for affordable housing. by offer You know, if you don't let some damn affordable housing into this county, there's going to be nobody to bring you your freaking Ubers. Yeah. Or, or protect you. You clowns. Or teach your children. I know. Seriously. Get over it. You idiots. Where are we going to put them? Yeah. It's so ridiculous. I know. 
I know, we need affordable housing. Stop blocking it. This is why we don't want you in St. John's County, you rich, stupid snobs. Well, they uh, they complained about it at first, and then all of a sudden, now it's going to be in their backyard. Then they get, right. yeah. 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 <laughs> nice right. Move it somewhere else. Yeah. Get out of here, you losers. You're about to price everybody out of the county, and then we're going to be a dead county, and you're not even going to want to live here. You're not even going to be able to live here. Nobody's going to be able to serve your food. <sighs> Bill Lazar. Of the St. John's County Housing Partnership. See how quick we can go from Good. super angry to just really calm? Yeah. Yes. Bill does that. Bill, Bill does Bill's that. Yeah, very, very yeah, peaceful yeah. panda. He needs to take the mask off. Take the damn mask off. Come on, take the mask off, Bill. <laughs> he did for a check it's, presentation. It's, picture, it's just goofy. We can't even hear you when you're yeah. on the radio. <laughs> but we love you anyway. Of the St. John's County Housing Partnership, uh, advocate for the project. At least we got one advocate for the project. Okay. Emphasize the critical need for affordable housing in the county. Others remain skeptical, emphasizing the importance of considering alternative locations. Where? 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 <laughs> Everybody, you know, every time they propose one of these, oh, we want an alternative location. Where? Yeah. Let people live. Let people afford to live in this county. Right. You've got your own little Stepford, like, gated community. Right. Stay in there, then. Right. Don't worry about it. You know, you poor people are going to bring crime. Yeah, well, yeah. A uh, spokesman for the preserve at Wards Creek indicates uh, ongoing efforts to provide further information and engage with the stakeholders as the project moves forward. Let's stop one. I remember when that was so far out, no one wanted to be there. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, right? Yeah. Seriously. Now it's, now it's, we talk about Silverleaf all the time. It's not always good. St. John's County Family Integrity Program. Flagler College partners for the second straight year hmm. to create personalized bags for youth in care. For the second consecutive year, the St. John's County Family Integrity Program and Flagler College have collaborated to provide supportive resources for youth under the care of the FIP. Uh, Lori Mongiovi. A professor of art and design at Flagler College, mm. and a recent person who hates how I pronounce her name, <laughs> is leading a course that focuses on childhood separation. Oh. As part of the curriculum, students uh, will delve into a book that's called All That She Carried, The Journey of Ashley Sack, a uh, black family keepsake. Mm. Ashley Sack, okay. Uh, uh, is that the name of the bag? I guess. Okay. Emphasize the significance of uh, personal belongings mm. and identity formation. Uh, Mongiovi's students said that different than I did the first time. <laughs> in creating, uh, let's Mongiovi's students participate in creating personalized duffel bags for children in FIP care, recognizing the importance of providing a sense of belonging and stability for foster children who frequently change living arrangements. Yeah. We learned that from Fostering Connections. They don't really have any possessions. So getting something like this, they actually have something that's theirs. Yeah. Yeah, that's something they can hold on to. Yeah. I can see how it's a therapeutic moment. Yeah, good. I hope it helps a lot of kids in our yeah. area. Very cool. Thank you all for partnering on this. Mm -hmm. Even Sounds though cool. I can't pronounce your last name. Miss M. Miss M. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> that's what we used to do. Miss M. Miss M. My second grade teacher should have just gone by Miss K. <laughs> yeah, she should have. Yeah, I, I remember. remember her name? The, oh, yes, we do. Oh, what was it? <laughs> no, you, you just want to. <laughs> I can't remember it. You don't remember it? Really? Yeah. I don't. Uh. <laughs> what was it? I don't even know if I Come on, you got to say it. it. You this can, is too far for you this can morning. Write. It really is. <laughs> here, you got to write it right here. And then I'll decide whether or not you got have to say okay. it. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you can say that. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. I still don't think I will. Yeah. Um, how do you want to approach the comments today, Mrs. Cum? Hey, Mrs. Cum, yeah. yeah. I was going to say, it could come out anytime. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, uh, oh, I'm going to do this. I'm going <laughs> to, well, thoroughly throttle through the thoughts and teachings of our terrific <laughs> tribe. All right. <laughs> <laughs> he lost it over there. It's because he just you I'm sure you just know how to instigate and <laughs> it just goes further than it needs to go. <laughs> no, it goes just the right level, Danny. I, I, really it's just it was, the right you level. just hit it right. Yeah. It was a real name. Is her actual name starting yeah. with a K? God's yeah. sakes, I can't imagine. I just can't imagine. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> just the worst. I could Name never ask a question. I don't, I don't right? know. Yeah. Thank goodness she was a second grade right. teacher, like not a middle school teacher. Right. Right. They don't right. know any better. The second right. grade kids, we didn't understand the joke until I got older and thought back on it and was like, yeah. oh, I should have yeah. made fun of her more. Golly. Yeah. Poor lady. Okay, while Troy does his thing, I will tell everybody that Bates Union and Floyd sets the standard that your home is more than a house. It is where your memories are made. They provide peace of mind and insurance to protect your biggest investments. Having a reliable local insurance agency like Bates Union and Floyd with over 40 years of experience in homeowners insurance, auto, commercial, and benefits can be a very valuable asset in navigating the unpredictable insurance market. They have the expertise to find just the right coverage for your needs and your budget. Christy is readily available at their St. Augustine office, conveniently situated across from Flagler UF. She offers complimentary policy reviews, and that's a helpful service for anyone looking to ensure your insurance coverage is suitable for your needs. Give them a call 904-794-5455 or visit Christy at 165 South Park Suite C. And your friends at Willow and Main Beauty Bar, they're your hair's best friend. Uh, tired of looking tired? Head over to Willow and Main. Feel like your hair's in a rut? Willow and Main is your hair hut. Not sure where to fix your frame? Take your mug to Willow and Main. From classic highlights to hair extensions, whether your hair is oily, crunchy, curly, straight, limp, or a little bit of a wimp, they'll whip it and clip it into shape. Don't let a hair emergency stress you out. Give them a call and book your next appointment today. Check out their latest specials on their Instagram at Willow and Main Beauty Bar. And hey, dudes, men's day is Wednesday. Troy, what you got? All right. Uh, so first off, stars. Thank you from Ann, Nicole, and Jennifer. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Walmart still has seventy dollars batteries. No, they don't. Okay. Well, you know, not for my car. They yeah. don't. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I mean, for the lawnmower. Not for lawnmowers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It'll work. Um, all right. Uh, uh, flat tire did just uh, nudge out the battery. You think so? Yeah, okay. It was, it was just. It was a close race. Um, uh, also, modest Yahoo is, I guess, considered reggae. I knew, exa- oh. I, I, I knew they weren't exactly rap, but they do some <laughs> stuff that kind of goes that way. So. Don't speak for Ray, Davey. No. Yeah. No, I will not. That's a dumb joke. It's <laughs> <laughs> an awful joke. Okay. Anything else, Troy? <laughs> nope, that's it. Wow. <laughs> okay. Come through. Yep. What you got for Stoidum Stack? All right, Stoidum Stack on this day, uh, 2003. A lot of us are going to remember this when I talk about it. Uh, it's actually the Space Shuttle Columbia's when it ripped apart over... Uh, Texas. Wow, yeah. So I, I had the choice of Nipplegate in this, and this story had a little oh. more historic history to it. So. Yeah. Um, the rocket or the nipple? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So we went with this, and I didn't realize um, that they didn't realize how, how much they, it, it, it was damaged when it launched, and some right. panels fell off. They knew there was some damage out there. And it happened before, and they came back, and they they made it, but they knew it was a dangerous situation. But this one was a little worse, or obviously a lot worse. Um, they could have got another shuttle up to them at the space station mm-hmm. and possibly made the repairs and got them back. Instead, mm-hmm. they took the risk of trying to bring them back. Wow. And they were up there for over two weeks. So, I mean, it was it was one of those situations where the Atlantis was ready to go and could have got to them. They could have made the repairs and brought it back or just kind of brought them supplies and said, screw it, and <laughs> let the Columbia just go. Mm. Um, you know, but it, I, I, I just uh, I didn't realize that there was an opportunity of that. Also being being in there, right? I'd never heard that before. Yeah, I did. I didn't know. I didn't know that was even an option. Mm. So, it, it, Atlantis was ready to go. It, they could have had it uh, February fifth, like four days from now, uh, up and and up to the the uh, crew of the Columbia. Mm. So, all right. Jeez. And the weirdest thing in the reading is they were doing research and they found they found debris in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Texas, all over the place. Wow. But they found a canister from it breaking up because it didn't explode; it just tore apart. They found a canister of uh, worms that they were doing research on, and the worms were still alive. Whoa! Yeah. Wow. Isn't that wild? Yeah, that, that is, is wild. wild. I've yeah. never heard that either. Yeah. Did Jeez. that just get Mandela affected into real life this year? Uh, well, I, I mean, it was it was on the History Channel. So. Okay. Mm. Worms. Who knew? Yeah. Resilient. So, I, I, I'd never heard that story at all. So Me neither. Uh, I did hear the story of how everybody loves St. Augie's Pizza. Right there in between Ribera and M.L. King. The originators of the Cuban pizza. Yeah. Yes. 
Stop in and see them today and get a slice of the original Cuban pie. Best of the best right yeah, there. Yeah, it is. Nobody does it like the best. Right. Nobody does it like the originators. All right, plugs, guys. All right, uh, I got a plug. Uh, I got a uh, shout out for uh, Wear It More Than Once. It's a fundraiser for Betty Griffin House. Uh, it's a pub crawl that'll oh. be starting at the Taberna. Uh, it goes to Meehan's and it goes to uh, uh, the Tavern. And it starts at 2 o'clock at Taberna on Saturday. Okay. Oh, cool. And so it's, a, nice. it's uh, all the money's going to, they're trying to raise about $15,000 for Betty Griffin House. That's awesome. Right. I didn't know about that. I'm going to put that in my notes. Nice. What about you, Davey? Hey, uh, we got the three o'clock show. We've got the queen of St. Augustine events today. We got Renee Unsworth from Totally St. Augustine. I'm excited to talk to her, find out the festival season ahead. Yes. Yeah. Blake. Uh, I, I got nothing much. I, uh, I, I'm just going to sleep the rest of the day. He, Good for you. He meant, he meant to say we have bollocks tonight at 634. Oh. Oh. He's, he's a little under the weather, so I'm helping him out. That's good. Aren't we all? Stay hydrated. Thanks. Uh, great show. Hope you guys don't call for a wellness check to my house <laughs> after this show. I'll be fine. Uh, you guys have a great rest of your day. We'll see you at three. Bye-bye.